Hello and welcome back to Road Trivia, the once a day road trip trivia quiz. Today is episode number 213 of the 365 day trivia road trip. It is August 1st, summer's winding down, school starts soon, it'll be fall before you know it. I hope you guys are having a good time with this 365 day trivia road trip. Today we've got another good one. 20 questions up front, question 21 tiebreaker at the end of the episode if you need to stick around for that. Good luck. Question number one. Rock climbers flock to this country's Grampians National Park in the Great Dividing Range. Gulf St. Vincent is near Adelaide in the south of this country, and a sacred sandstone formation called Uluru is in the outback of what country? If you didn't get it with Grampians or Gulf St. Vincent, then the Uluru should have given it away. The answer is Australia. Question number two. Mary Wollstonecraft was the mother of what famous author who wrote The Last Man and told a story about a creature that kills Elizabeth Lavenza while participating in a contest against Lord Byron, John William Polidori, and this author's husband, Percy. What is the name of Mary Wollstonecraft's daughter? You know her as Mary Shelley, the author of Frankenstein. Question number three, Scott Norwood's wide right kick is one focus of a documentary about this city's NFL team's four consecutive Super Bowl losses. What is this city whose anchor bar is the birthplace of a recipe for a deep fried snack covered in Frank's red hot sauce and usually dipped in blue cheese? That question made my mouth water. The answer is Buffalo, New York. Home of the Buffalo Wing. Question number four. While in Serendib, this literary character rafts down a river of ambergris lined with rubies, allowing him to bring treasure home to Baghdad. Who is this seaman who made seven voyages in the Arabian Nights? This famous sailor is Sinbad. Question number five, in Catholicism, this solemn holiday is a fast day on which no mass is observed. What name is given to this holiday near the end of the Christian Holy Week that commemorates the day of Jesus' crucifixion? Easter Sunday is three days before Good Friday. Good Friday is the answer. Question number six. Aardvarks and anteaters specialize in feeding from giant termite mounds in this biome. The Eurasian Steppe, Pampas, and Serengeti are examples of what type of biome home to wildebeest, bison, and zebras, but very few trees. The biome that we're looking for is grassland, or you could have said savanna or prairie. Question number seven. Over 1,100 men were killed in the sinking of this battleship during the attack on Pearl Harbor. A floating memorial over the whole of what ship commemorates those lost during that attack? The answer is the USS Arizona. Question number eight. This adjective describes a rate of change that is proportional to the current value. This term names an operation that, when repeated, is known as tetration. Functions like y equals e to the x are known by what term that also names the repeated multiplication of a number like two to the fifth power.
The word we're looking for is an exponent or exponential. Question number nine. Other stars of this show have included David Tennant and Matt Smith. What is the title of the popular BBC TV series that cast Jodie Whittaker as the 13th actor and the first woman to play the title Time Lord taking over from Peter Capaldi? The answer is Doctor Who. Question number 10. The authoritative outlooks of legalism and Confucianism are contrasted by this philosophy, possibly created by Laozi. What ideology advocates a balance with nature, exemplified by the balance of yin and yang, and believes in following the way? The philosophy that I'm looking for is Taoism or Taoism. Question number 11. In 1905, the special form of this theory was published, dealing with time dilation and arguing that the speed of light is constant for all observers. Ten years later, the general form of what theory, which concerns the curvature and space-time around mass, was announced? The special form and general form of relativity. Relativity is the theory we're looking for. Question number 12. The Berlin Wall fell two years after Ronald Reagan demanded that this Soviet leader tear down this wall. Two years after the Berlin Wall fell, the Soviet Union collapsed and what man gave power to Boris Yeltsin? The answer is Mikhail Gorbachev. Question number 13. America's Pacific Crest hiking trail goes through the Sierra Nevada mountains in California and what mountain range in the Pacific Northwest whose highest peak is Mount Rainier? What is the name of that range in America's Pacific Northwest? The answer is the Cascade Mountains. Question number 14. In his treatise on war, 19th century Prussian general Karl von Clausewitz described this concept, the uncertainty that shrouds war. Applications of what idea may include a lack of intelligence about the enemy forces or, in a more literal sense, about the terrain of a battlefield? Clauschwitz didn't write about the art of war, he wrote about the fog of war. Question number 15. What is the name of this 18th century period in which philosophers like Kant, Jean-Jacques Rousseau, and David Hume argued for separation of church and state, liberty, and increased reliance on scientific examination of the world? What is the name of that 18th century period? We know it as the Age of Enlightenment. Question 16. Plants in this group have parallel leaf veins and flower parts arranged in multiples of three. What is the name of this subdivision of the flowering plants whose seed contains just one embryonic leaf, unlike dicots. I tried to give you a little hint there at the end. Unlike dicots, it only has one, so it is a monocot. Question number 17. This principle is often stated as the inability to exactly measure a particle's position and momentum at the same time. What is the name of this quantum physics principle 
that was first introduced by Warner Heisenberg in 1927. I'm pretty sure I've only ever heard of this because I saw it on the Big Bang Theory TV show. It is Heisenberg's Uncertainty Principle. Question number 18. This poet described Mary announcing to Warren that Silas is back in the poem The Death of a Hired Man. What is the name of this poet who wrote about a speaker who leaves no step had trodden black after finding himself in a yellow wood? If he's in the woods, it's usually Robert Frost, and this time it is. Robert Frost is the answer we're looking for. Question number 19. At its first showings, this painting was nicknamed an Iowa farmer and his wife, which irritated the artist's sister Nan, who was in real life much younger than the dentist who had posed as her husband. What is the name of this Grant Wood painting? You would recognize it if you saw it, but you may not know the name is American Gothic. And question 20. What is the title of the Hans Christian Andersen tale where the title tiny girl escapes from a toad, a beetle, and a mole and eventually marries a flower fairy prince who gives her wings? This titular tiny girl, her name is Thumbelina, which is the answer. Thumbelina, and that's it for today. Thank you for watching today's episode of Road Trippia. Check back tomorrow. We're marching on. I'm leaving. I am leaving tomorrow. So tomorrow, I'll finish out a few more of the trivia quizzes that I wrote. And then basically towards the end of this week, we'll be going into the viewer quizzes of people that have sent in quizzes over the last month. So I think we have... One, two, three, four. We have seven of those. So basically the whole next week will be viewer submitted trivia quizzes. So if you like those, make sure you tune in. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And prepare yourselves for question 21, the tiebreaker for today. The biblical Daniel predicted that Nebuchadnezzar would live outside human society for this number of periods of time after interpreting his dream. What was this number that was also the number of healthy and the number of sick cows that appeared in the dreams that Joseph interpreted for Pharaoh? We're looking for one number, and whichever player gets closest to that number is going to win the point, win the tiebreaker, win the whole stinking game. The answer is seven, and here's Logan. Everybody say hi to Logan. <laughs> and there's Abby, and there's Kayla. I always like that video clip. You guys, have a good day. See you back here tomorrow.